The Norwegian Society for Search and Rescue, NSSR, has one mission, save lives at sea. To be at the scene more rapidly, to be able to see what's happening in total darkness, and to find people in the water faster both day and night, the NSSR decided to put night vision on board their rescue vessels. After careful evaluation, they chose FLIR systems thermal imaging cameras. Nine FLIR Voyager 2s, four navigators, and one M-series thermal imaging camera are in operation today. The Storm Bull, one of the NSSR rescue vessels, is equipped with a FLIR systems Voyager 2. The Voyager 2 has two thermal imaging cameras and a daylight low-light camera that can be used when conditions permit. Thanks to the two thermal imaging cameras, the Voyager 2 has a continuous optical zoom on the thermal image. I'm usually the one who operates this uh, the camera. And uh, we use it uh, basically for uh, search and rescue operations. Controlling the FLIR system's Voyager 2 is extremely easy. A joystick control unit allows for zooming in and out. The same joystick allows to pan and tilt the camera in the desired direction. A few buttons give the user easy access to all functions. The thermal or daylight image of the Voyager 2 is continuously displayed on a dedicated screen integrated in the bridge. Especially when it's cold in the water, we need to uh, pick up the person quite fast. Then this camera will help us to do that. Uh, we are very happy to have this uh, camera because uh, some days it's definitely it will save lives. The Gideon, another NSSR vessel, is equipped with a FLIR M320L. The M320L is equipped with both a thermal imaging camera and a daylight low light camera. The M-Series joystick control unit is also extremely easy to handle. No operator training is required. It gives access to all camera functions. It also allows to pan the camera 360 degrees continuously and tilt it plus or minus 90 degrees. The FLIR system's thermal imaging cameras are receiving a lot of positive feedback from the NSSR crews. Do you think that other search and rescue societies in other parts of the world should start using thermal cameras as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, search and rescue society in the, in the world should use a FLIR camera. The NSSR is now contemplating putting FLIR thermal imaging cameras on all its 44 vessels because they know that the FLIR system's thermal imaging cameras will help them to save lives.